winning is of course uh, very satisfactional. I hate losing so much. The win is the confirmation that all your preparation has, has been good. Uh, you get the confirmation that all the time and effort you put in uh, it pays off and uh, can't really beat the feeling of, of a good victory and especially against other teams you know put in the same amount of effort and, and uh, it's, uh, it's a great, great feeling. We don't have a coach this year, so we rely on the old foxes in the team, Knut, Max and the Carl, to uh, lead us into battle, so to speak. But um, it's been uh, working really good for us because they got a game sense. So we are going head first and uh, do what we think is best. How the coach motivates the team and how I motivate myself personally. First of all, we have to have a coach to motivate ourselves. So it's you know, our team. It's uh, we don't have one, and uh, so it's. A lot about motivating yourself. You really got to get into your to yourself and and get yourself going. I think um, we try as much as possible to motivate ourselves. We have uh, our key uh, players on the team, our leaders when we're playing is Knut and Carl, and they are not the most positive guys in the world and not the best motivators. They are uh, from the more like skeptical school, uh, so you really have to motivate yourself a lot, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't know if you met Carl Scandal or Knut, but they are uh, they are two of a kind. They're born 1982, which was a very sour year. Like all the wine, all the grapes to make the wines went really sour. All the crops, everything went really bad the year of 1982. And that's when Knut and Carl were born, which made them very miserable people. They never smile, they don't do anything for us. But they're 
fantastic paintball players and they're great leaders. So the motivation is all about what we do. Paintball gets uh, a lot of time out of our lives and is uh, really, really difficult to make everything uh, work together, like family, work uh, and paintball. So family is, uh, is playing a huge role in uh, my career. I mean, uh, they have always support me. Yeah, it's been, uh, they have a huge role since the time especially you have to take in mind that uh, for us to play a new European tournament uh, is something that uh, get a lot of time out of your life so you have to yeah you have to try to work it out and uh, let everything mix together the best way possible and uh, it's not really easy <laughs>
my life is paintball. I work at uh, MASH, the paintball field that Saban owns. Um, I play paintball, I train paintball, so my free life isn't big enough to call it something outside paintball. But I got my girlfriend and uh, we're happy, but um, in conclusion, my life is painful. What impresses me of this event? It's uh, obviously it's the location is nice uh, with the scenery around and the, uh, and the castle and everything. Other than that, I think the Millennium Series events they are pretty much the same year after year. So uh, there were some teams uh, impressing me, like Manchester Firm, Camp Carnage. That has uh, played really impressive. Uh, also, ML Kings before they went out. Other than that, uh, uh, events are are like we are used to. Yeah. Of course, I play the Millennium, uh, and uh, in Sweden we have a PBSM uh, where I play with um, the local team uh, for this year, um, called the O313. Um, me and Fabian. 
and uh, then we collaborate for the millennium. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a solution for this year. Let's see what happens uh, next year. And uh, uh, we played a uh, CPS uh, event this year as well in uh, Malmö, oh, in Helsingborg. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the plans for next year is to uh, play better, stronger, faster and uh, have a good time. Um, so pretty much the same as this year, but in the top four at least. Plan for next year. We'll see now that the NXL is supposed to take over the Millennium Series, um, what happens. I'm skeptic. I'm extremely skeptic to the to the future, and I see, and I also see how some teams can yell at the refs as much as they want and affect calls as much as they want, and other teams cannot. So it's like really affected by you know who owns the leagues and so on, and, and it's never going to be fair that way. It's it's going to be a money game, power game. Uh, who has the most influence and the most money they're gonna win it's unfortunate and uh, one last thing I would like to say to you guys you guys think maybe that you don't have any power to affect what's going on but I promise you there's been people with less power than us achieving a lot bigger goals than we would a lot bigger a lot bigger so Keep fighting, keep spreading your opinion on social medias and make sure that you say what you think should happen to the sport. Because I definitely do not think what, what's happening right now is a good thing for it. And I've been in it for 25 years and it would be a shame to see the sport go down like this, like many other sports have. So, fight the power.